Hello everyone, and welcome to DSLR Diaries, the podcast dedicated to exploring the art of street photography. I'm your host Danny, and today we'll be exploring one of the world's most influential street photographers, Fan Ho. Street photography is an art form that captures the essence of life as it unfolds in the world's bustling urban centres. It requires a keen eye, patience, and a deep understanding of the human condition. Among the many legendary street photographers who have left an indelible mark on this genre, Fan Ho stands out as an inspiration in today's street photography. Fan Ho, born in Shanghai in 1931, was a Hong Kong-based photographer and film director. His street photography primarily captured the streets of Hong Kong during the 1950s and 60s, showcasing the city's vibrant street life, culture and people. Progressing from a brownie camera, he began capturing the bustling urban life, market streets and stairways of China using his father's Roliflex twin-lens reflex camera at the age of 14. His work has not only stood the test of time, but also offers valuable insights and inspiration to modern street photographers. His most iconic work, Approaching Shadow, features his cousin standing against a wall of Queen's College in Causeway Bay. This piece is particularly inspirational to me, The use of shape, shadow, geometry and grandeur stop me in my tracks. The scale of the image is equalled only by the scale of the shadow that befall upon it. It was not until researching Fan Ho in greater detail that I realised the geometric shadow was in fact added as part of his developing process in the darkroom. In a world of Instagram, instant gratification and instant images, Fan Ho's work seems a lifetime away. Very rarely do I find myself truly drawn into an image, wondering how he found himself in those situations. Maybe it's me. Maybe trying to follow the old way is less progressive. But if photography has taught me anything, it's that you and your story is all that matters, not what you hope will be picked up by an algorithm. Fan Ho used light, and the absence of it, to show what was already present for everyone to see, if only they looked. Here are five ways Fan Ho continues to inspire today's practitioners of this captivating art form. Mastery of Composition Fan Ho's photographs are a testament to his mastery of composition. His ability to frame scenes and subjects in a way that tells a compelling story is a hallmark of his work. Contemporary street photographers can learn much from this meticulous attention to detail and his ability to create harmonious compositions, even in the midst of a chaotic street scene. One of Fan Ho's techniques that continues to inspire is his use of natural framing. He often used architectural elements, windows, doorways and reflections to frame his subjects, adding depth and context to his images. This technique not only draws the viewer's eye to the subject, but also adds a layer of meaning to the photograph. Modern street photographers can benefit from studying Fan Ho's compositions and incorporating similar techniques into their own work. By paying attention to the arrangements of elements within the frame, they can create visually stunning and emotionally resonant images that captures the essence of life on the streets. Creative use of light and shadow. Light plays a fundamental role in photography. We often pay consideration to light to determine our camera settings, be that speed of the shutter, the circumference of the aperture, or the sensitivity of the sensor through the ISO. Fan Ho understood the need for light, from a technical perspective, but also from an artistic one. Take his afternoon chat 1959 as a perfect example. Here we see how light can be utilised as a leading line. The beams of light draw your eye away from the foreground to the distant horizon. Dark blacks, truly white highlights, and a range of tones in between provide the signature of a genuine black and white picture. And a timeless piece. If only you omit the dim clock which serves as a reminder in this moment that time has stopped. A piece of time, an insignificant piece of time, added to the history books. Highlights on the railing, contrasted against the opaque wall upon which it lends its full support to, provides an opportunity for the eye to navigate up and through the image. Shadowy figures ascending towards a wall of light conjures ethereal notions, made more harrowing by the little boy looking directly at the camera. 
Fan Ho was a master of using light and shadows to create dramatic and evocative street photographs. His images often feature stark contrasts between light and dark, creating a sense of mystery and intrigue. Whether it's the play of sunlight filtering through the narrow alleyway, or the interplay of shadows cast by architectural elements, Fan Ho's work demonstrates the power of light and shadow in storytelling. Today, street photographers can draw inspiration from Fan Ho's creative use of light and shadow to infuse their own work with a sense of drama and mood. By paying close attention to how light interacts with the urban environment, they can craft images that resonate with viewers on a visceral level. Ability to find characters. Finding characters in street photography could be considered an essential element Finding the correct characters to tell the story, however, is a completely different matter entirely. Private 1960 personifies this notion with intent. An otherwise innocuous building, plain and uninviting, lends itself to a moment. The absence of humans can leave architecture cold and detached. The couple in the image evoke emotions of passion, secrecy, lust and temptation. Fan Ho is known to purposely add human elements to his work. It is unclear if the moment was staged, but I'd like to think he walked past, looked up, and gazed upon this very real and very personal moment. Photographing a person or persons in a street setting, without context, without intention even, can be as useless in the storytelling world as forgetting to charge a camera batteries. Finding a moment, however brief, can be the difference between a good image and a great one, and I suspect you knew this. Of course, there'll be many great images which never made it past the development stage. Equally, I'm sure, many images that, even with a perfect subject, just did not quite fit the bill, and I know how that feels. The subtle use of black in this image adds to the story, and perhaps leads it down the storyline. The white innocence of the wall, contrasted by the black sign which sits below a silhouetted couple, provides a balance, yet leaves you waiting around long enough to wonder. And let's be honest, the private sign in the bottom right was a stroke of genius. Use of geometry Geometry, shapes, lines and patterns play a large role in Van Ho's style. Like all chaos, order will ensue. Looking at this image, sun rays, my eyes struggled to find a place to rest. This intentional style is a great way of leaving your audience pondering. Like I've said before, in a world of continuous scrolling, that's some feet. If it's safe to do so, I invite you to take a moment to place your hand in front of the image. Block out the two children and the man holding the buckets. If the gentleman in the upper left corner was the only person present, this image would have been equally as successful. However, it would lack the storytelling element. Sure, it would have been a great example of light, shadow and context, but would it have revealed a story? I'm not entirely sure. Fan Ho has an exceptional ability to contrast light and emotions with the same purpose. It would not be a stretch to suggest there are at least three generations in this one image. The light cast on the two generations walking up the stairs has a remarkable way of creating depth between them. The innocence in the light walking up towards this inescapable future, walking in the footsteps of the travelled, informed and survived. A sense of impendent becomes them. The shapes that divide the generations also guide you through the image. The highlighted edge of the dark scaling triangle in the lower left chaperones you to the curved banister which leads you swiftly from the lower third of the image to the upper where sharp contrasting lines move you up out and away a journey much like the younger generation is yet to embark storytelling through visual narrative fanho's photographs are not mere snapshots of the streets they are visual narratives that invite viewers to step into the scenes and create their own stories. His ability to convey scenes of time, place, and emotion through his images is a testament to his own storytelling prowess. Modern street photographers can take inspiration from Van Ho's approach to visual storytelling. By carefully considering the narrative elements within their frame, 
They can craft images that resonate with viewers and invite them to engage with the story being told. Whether it's a fleeting moment of connection between strangers or a poignant reflection on the passage of time, street photographers can use their craft to weave compelling visual narratives that transcend the immediate moment. My takeaway. Fanho's legacy as a street photographer continues to inspire and inform the work of contemporary practitioners of this genre. His mastery of composition, creative use of light and shadow, ability to find characters, use of geometry, and talent for story through visual narrative all serve as valuable lessons for today's street photographers. By studying Fan Ho's work and incorporating his techniques and philosophy into their own practice, street photographers can not only pay homage to a master of craft, but also to continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in the ever-evolving world of street photography. Fan Ho's timeless images serve as a reminder that the streets are rich with stories waiting to be told, and it's the photographer's role to capture them with sensitivity, creativity, and an unwavering commitment to the art of street photography. Light, characters and geometry, three aspects which when used together, when used correctly, can create a sensational story, a moment to behold. I often wonder what elements I need to combine to make the perfect image. I guess the truth is all of them and none of them. Finding the truth in an image will allow you to unconsciously combine the elements needed. Having a set of skills that can be called upon when the moment requires is more beneficial than that one lens you think you need, or that camera upgrade because that's what Instagram influencers recommend. So should you look to recreate Fan Ho's work? Yes, because it'll add to a set of skills that you can place in your bag. Should you publicly post that work? I don't think so. You should find your own style. And you should share it with the world because it's yours and you're proud and because the world deserves to see it. The great photographers of this world don't photograph to become great. They live without expectation. Their work speaks for them. It's their truth. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode, where we looked at the life and work of Fan Ho. I hope you found some inspiration and insights into the wonderful world of street photography. And remember, the streets are waiting to tell their stories, so grab your camera, go out there and explore. This has been Danny with DSLR Diaries, and until next time, peace.